This is me. This is an iPad. This is a Samsung Galaxy Tab. And this is a Xiaomi Pad. And you're probably a confused student wondering which tablet to get for your medical studies. Watch me till the end to choose the right one for yourself and avoid wasting your money. Also, I request you to not miss the some important factors section at the end, even if you skip the rest of the video, because I don't think a lot of people talk about these small things, but are really important in determining your overall experience with your tab. So why a tablet? Now for starters, you might wonder, why do I even need a tablet? Reason number one, books. As you're new to MBBS, let me give you an insight about the books. The books that you're gonna use for your course over the years are heavy. By heavy, I mean really heavy, both in terms of weight and price. You can store all of your books in PDF format on your tab and carry it every day with you. Reason number two, notes. Note taking is one of the most important use case of a tablet. It will keep your notes organized and you won't need to carry hefty notebooks with you every day. Note taking experience is going to be magical. Reason number three, lectures. See these two lectures side by side and tell me which one do you prefer. Now watching lectures on a tab won't strain your eyes and you can even take notes while watching lectures in this manner using split screen. That's how I use my tablet mostly. Reason number four, content creation. Let me reveal one thing about my channel. I do all of my scripting, my thumbnail designing and editing on the tablet itself. So if you're into content creation, you can use your tablet for that too. Now cutting to the chase, you have two broad options to go with. You can get the iPad or you can go with the Android tabs. But if you're going for Android tabs, go for the Samsung Galaxy S series tabs only. Number one, Samsung Galaxy tab. The one I'm using here is the S7 plus version. I have been using this tab for around four years. I had purchased this tab back in October of 2020. So I do have a bias for this tab. This tab is so amazing that I'm in love with it. I have used it so 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 extensively for these past years that I can't even tell you. You can see that my S Pen has decolorized a bit just because of how much I have used it. So if you are of the notion that only iPad can last you for 5-6 years then you are wrong. Note taking experience on this tab has been flawless and I wouldn't trade my tab for anything. Also Samsung Notes is simply the best note taking app I have ever used. Palm rejection works like a charm. You can see this pointer as I hover my S Pen over the screen. This feature enables palm rejection and your note taking experience isn't compromised. The battery life is awesome as well. The best thing about Samsung tabs is that you don't have to purchase the S Pen separately. It's included in the box. In my past years of experience, my tab has never lagged or felt slow. You can even see right now, it doesn't stutter at all. Now, as the Galaxy Tab S7 Plus is 4 years old at this point, and is expensive as well, you can go for the Galaxy Tab S9 FE or S9 FE Plus or even the regular S9. However, make sure to purchase it on sale days or from uni days to avail maximum discount. Also, make sure to purchase the Wi-Fi version only. Don't bring the cellular version because you will always have a phone to create a Wi-Fi hotspot through which you can use the internet on your tab. Number 2. iPad The one I am using here is the iPad 10th Gen. This is the one that comes with USB Type-C. This tab serves as a good entry-level iPad. Despite being an iPad, I have a major complaint with it, and it is this. The iPad 10th Gen has a non-laminated display. Now what it means is that there is an air gap between the top screen and the LCD display. While it is good for repairability, it impacts the note-taking experience. You feel a gap between the tip of your stylus and what is being written. Now that being said, it's not like this iPad will provide you with a trash note writing experience. It will be fine, but not simply as good as other iPads or Galaxy S tabs. So if you're looking to buy an iPad, go for the iPad Air. That will benefit you the maximum. However, keep in mind that Apple Pencil needs to be purchased separately. Number 3. Other Android Tabs The one I'm showing here is the Xiaomi Pad 5. These tabs are good to read books and watch video lectures. The processor is also really good. Although these tabs are cheap in comparison, note taking experience isn't top notch. So you have to decide the use case for your tablet and then make the purchasing decision accordingly. Now some important factors. The aspect ratio of Samsung tabs is 16 is to 10 and will give you a notebook like feeling while writing as opposed to most iPads with aspect ratio 4 is to 3 which will make your canvas feel like square. Diving a bit into techy side of things, Android tabs let you install any APK file or Android package file and supports all mods. 
if you own an Android phone, then you can easily share stuff between your phone and tab using Quick Share or Nearby Share. You can't do that with an iPad and an Android phone. You necessarily have to have iPhone to use AirDrop. The S Pen comes included with the tab, while as you will have to purchase the Apple Pencil separately. Samsung Notes again is a free app, while as for iPad, if you want to have the best writing experience, you will have to purchase the subscription for Good Notes separately. Android Play Store will give you a greater catalog of free apps, while as Apple App Store has more paid apps. So, stating all the previously mentioned things, I would simply suggest you to go for either a Samsung Galaxy S series tab or an iPad Air. This analyze your needs and see which tab fulfills it. Now, if you are joining your MBBS first year, you won't be needing just a tablet. There are some important things that you would need before entering the medical college. And to know what those things are, click this video. I'll meet you there. Till then, bye bye, take care, happy learning.